Last quick video today about HDV tapes, which is a mini DV tape, but it has a different recording on it, different type of recording, so you can't play it in regular mini DV cameras. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sean with Emerald Coast Digitizing. I convert tapes and films to digital here in Pensacola, Florida. If you need someone to do this for you, check out my website, emeraldcoastdigitizing.com. Let's get on with the video. So today I just want to show you my workflow with HDV. I don't see it very often. They look exactly like DV tapes. I do have two HDV cameras in the store. A lot of the times when you put a mini DV tape into a mini DV camera and it shows up as a blue screen like this, but there's a label on the tape that says like Christmas or something. So you know the tape's labeled. You have a blue screen, you can't get it to come through. So you need to try it in your HDV camera. And this one actually does have footage on it. So we are recording using QuickTime Player. And let me uh, see if I can show you this. So I'm using the CamLink 4K. And I've got that ran through HDMI cable and that HDMI cable is going into the back of the camera. And I've got my little remote here to control the camera. Where's that from? I've gone into QuickTime Player and I'm making the recording through there. All you have to do is uh, Select the CamLink 4K and the CamLink 4K microphone. And then you can get an HD recording through this. So this is coming through really clean. But I thought it was weird because, you know, she's got a bunch of mini DV tapes here. But at some point, and it doesn't say HDV on these tapes. It just says mini DV. So just because it says mini DV doesn't mean it's just regular old mini DV. A lot of times it could be HDV and you'll get blue screen. Just because there's a blue screen does not mean there's not footage on the tape. You really need to check with multiple cameras. And if you have your original camera, check that too and make sure that you tell the transfer company what kind of tapes they are. So, I mean, a good transfer company is going to be able to tell and, and figure this out on their own but it does make it a lot easier if you go check your camera. If your camera says HDV on the side of it and has an HDMI cable, I don't want to touch it, but you can see it down there. It says HDV. Just check that. Put a note in the box, put a note and uh, let the, uh, the person who's doing your transfer, just let them know. Short video, I guess I'll show you guys what's going on with this studio making progress. Painted the walls, mostly kind of a blue gray, but then I went with a, a, a black wall here and we're gonna paint this one like a nice white. So I'll we'll have a couple different looks right out the gate without having to put up photo paper. Uh, yeah, so the studio's coming along, working on making it some diffusion frames um, for the windows. So this frame here, I'll put some diffusion on it and then I'll be able to just stick it in the window like that. Can't do it with one hand, but. And that'll give us, you know, we'll get some nice, I'm gonna get rid of the tint. My plan is to get rid of the tint on this window, which is very dark, and let in a little bit more natural light. I mean, this is a photo studio. So the idea is to have some different types of diffusion. Um, I've also got, like here's my diffusion here. I got leaf filters diffusion, which is real nice. I've also got some gels, like some uh, CTO and some CTB. You guys probably don't know what that is, but um, maybe there's a few of you out there that have you know messed around with color filters and stuff like that, color gels. But yeah, things are going good at the studio. Things are going good up here. Good business coming in, kind of trying to stay caught up in case it gets busy for the holidays. I don't think a lot of people are really worried about their tapes right now with the strikes, uh, the porch strikes kind of taking up everyone's attention, but let's look at these. Look at these friggin' mini DVD. Oh, lots of stuff happening up here. Got a big uh, order of film in. All right, the video is done. I went in and stopped the capture. Now I've got some, I mean, I got blue screen at the end. I want to get rid of that. So we'll go to edit. And we'll get a trim. And we'll try to get that close. It's about an hour long, so. Just a couple seconds at the end there. All right, and we'll click trim. 
and that's going to trim out the video, trim off the blue screen at the end. Now here we have our video, and it looks good. Up here to export, we're going to export to 480p, because even though it is mini DVHD, it's still a 480p clip. And we'll save it as 018, and then I'll put the name of what it says on the tape. I can't remember. It says it on the tape, though. Christmas. Eject. And we got Christmas 2008. It's not that old. Could do it through Elgato as well. Because um, I do have the uh, AV cables for this camera plugged in as well. I did not use Elgato this time. I wanted to give a uh, quick time ago because I have HDMI coming off and probably the best quality uh, video would be through the HDMI. Those of you, I would say, that's not true, that's true, and face. there we go. We got it. Hopefully this helped you guys out. Come through on a mini DV camera. It'll just be real pixelated. And it'll, it'll make you think that it's a mini DV tape. But you really always just got to try it in an HDV camera just in case. Thanks for watching, guys. Check out these other videos here. And, uh, you know. See you in the next one.